Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, last night my pastor preached at a revival and he preached from Romans chapter 5. And the title of his sermon was Shouting Instead of Pouting. And that really hit my spirit. Uh, I've been praying on it and dealing with it since uh, he preached that sermon last night. And um, because believe it or not, I'm going through. It may not seem like it. I try not to act like it. I try not to post uh, any negative post on Facebook or Twitter about it. But yes, Lord, have mercy. I am going through. And there have been times where I have pouted instead of shouted. There have actually been days where I, I shouted in the morning and pouted in the afternoon. There have actually been moments where I shouted one moment and pouted the next moment. And so God has really been dealing with me about shouting anyhow, praising him anyhow, trusting him anyhow. And in uh, Romans chapter 5, verse 3, the Bible says that we ought to glorify in our tribulations because our tribulations work with patience. See, I don't mind waiting on God um, because we are all waiting on God for something. Uh, you may be waiting on God for a healing or a financial breakthrough or promotion or a job or uh, dealing with your spouse or a spouse period or with uh, issues with your children and God is trying to give us patience so that we can learn from our experiences the Bible says that patience worketh experience let me try to explain that the best way I can see we go through situations and experiences every day and a lot of times we go through the same experiences because we never learn the lesson that God is trying to teach us. Some of us go through the same thing over and over and over again because we have yet learned the lesson. Some of us keep dealing with drama and mess because we can't keep our name out of, we can't keep people's names out of our mouth. Some of us uh, can't uh, stop going through financial issues because we have yet learned to tithe and to give and to sow seeds. Some of us uh, keep going through issues at work because we don't know how to treat our uh, fellow man, our fellow co-workers. And so God is trying to take us through some things, some things so that he can teach us some things so we don't have to keep going through the same thing over and over and over again. And also, not only that, but experience also works hope because if I know that God has delivered me last month, what I experienced last month and he delivered me from it gives me hope for this month. Because he brought me through 2012, I can surely say that he's going to bring me through 2013. The definition of hope is feelings uh, that events will somehow turn out for the best. Is knowing that one way or another that I am going to win. One way or, or another I'm going to have the victory. One way or another I am believing in God no matter what. I have something to look forward to. I have high expectations in God. That's what uh, the definition of hope is. And having hope and continuing to have hope is even though the outlook does not look good, I still have hope. Even though the outlook doesn't warrant me to have hope, I'm still going to have hope on top of hope because I'm going to shout my way to victory. I am going to shout my way to winning because I have hope. The Bible says, again, to count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. So I dare you, why don't you get to counting with me? Why don't you start shouting with me instead of pouting with me? Why don't we start shouting together and watch us both get the victory? So I want to close with, instead of pouting, get your shout on. May God bless you.